Hey y'all, it's your girl Jazz Men Nicole, and welcome to Wait With Jazz. I'm realizing that on the GLP-1 medication, you can still incorporate some of these weight loss techniques to aid along the weight loss journey, okay? Just to kick it up a notch, especially for those who are experiencing pauses, stalls, for uh, medication not suppressing or for other reasons that fasting can probably be beneficial to, you know, to relieve. So we kind of like incorporate a manipulation of some weight loss tools in addition to what we are currently on. So we're not just solely rocking on a medication. Fasting is a permanent um, component of my life anyway. It's just what helped me lose weight. But being on GOP medications, people would think you don't need to fast. It cuts your appetite. Anyway, you don't need to introduce any dieting techniques. The medication does it itself. Just let it suppress, work out, and lose. Okay, that's great. But there's a lot of situations that are coming about where people are losing the effects of suppressing who are eating regular three meals a day when they're going to eat their meal a day, maybe their suppression is not kicking in as much as it did or they're overeating, they're overthrowing the suppression. And that could be throwing them into weight surplus or a weight stall and they see I'm not, they're not losing weight, <clears throat> which may have to do with the dose level or just may have to do with the protein um, consumption level. But, I mean, if you are okay, because fasting is not necessarily right for everyone unless you know what you can handle. But if you are okay with skipping a meal and operating on fluids, it's actually metabolically cleansing. It's cell cleansing to fast. Uh, you don't have to excessively fast to starve yourself, but to fast, to cleanse for cell restoration, cell recomposition, um, metabolic uh, rate restructuring. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it gives you a spike in, the, in, in your MBR. Um, it, it gets a kick in for fat burning. It, it just does. It, it, it's a great technique. It mean, to me, it's liquid gold in a sense. And people have been intermittent fasting for years. People have just been fasting for years, okay? The good old Savior, okay, fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, amen. But, you know, fasting can be cleansing spiritual, completely restructuring. It can if you know how to incorporate it, right? But anyway, that's something I've been doing in general for years. But specifically using the GLP-1 medication, you notice it's easier to fast. See, when you're typically fasting off medication, you'll get to a period where maybe you're getting the hunger pains. If you're not used to fasting and you're going right into it, it's going to take an adjustment, right? You may um, fall weary of fasting. You may not want to do it because you're like, uh, I'm getting hungry. I don't know how to counter this. I don't know how to channel my willpower i don't know how to get into the fasting mindset where now physio physiologically i'm not craving food because if you fast consistently and you and you drink your fluids drink your water after a point i don't eat it's hard to explain but this is just for me you guys after a point like that suppression kicks in you're not hungry you're not hungry after a point. So if you slowly wean yourself into it without medication, it can be discouraging. But if you stick to it, you can still overcome it because people are fasting without meds. But being specifically on GOP-1 medication, use that to your advantage. You can kick start your weight loss results even more, add to it by fasting. The one meal a day or the two meal a day. If you're usually a three meal a day, take one meal off. 
the medication allows you to be able to do that. You can don't eat one meal, drink fluid, teas, caffeine free or caffeine because caffeine, you know, that's also an additional additive of a appetite suppressant. These are techniques. These are tools that are, that are continue to hold you over. So, you know, with the fasting, I definitely believe in liquid. So water, tea, coffee, do what you gotta do. Just don't ingest, you know, try not to eat food. So I know that this has done it, okay? Takes away the hunger pains, especially, you know, like if you're on a correct dose and then also you, you, you're channeling your willpower too. Because remember guys, you can't put 100% of everything into the medication, but take advantage of what the medication can do. So this medication can help in a fasting component. You know, of course, through the suppression, making you feel like you're full longer from the previous meal that you already ate. Take it on through. You ate, if you ate the previous in the evening, let's say you stopped, well, for me, I'm gonna say I stopped eating between like 7.30 and eight o'clock at night. That's when I stopped eating. So that's when my fast begins. My fast begins from 8 p.m. or the point that I stop eating to uh, around one o'clock in, in the afternoon, you know, in between that time, maybe, you know, one to two o'clock in the afternoon. And then I'm eating between two to 8 p.m. and I'm stopping again. And then the fast starts again. So I have a window to eat. Sometimes I fast to 12 p.m. You know what I'm saying? Then I have a window to eat between 12 to seven, I have a window to eat. Whether I'm gonna eat once, in that window or I'm gonna divvy that up and eat twice in that window. But I'm fasting for a number of hours. That does something for your metabolism. And it does it for me, I'm sorry. I can't guarantee you, but I just know what has worked for me and hopefully it can work for you. You know, we are here to share our experiences, our techniques, okay, our stories, one, may uh work for another it could resonate with somebody else and they can take some fruit for them tips so with the weight loss thing i'm telling you you learn as you go and as you get experience and you could kind of manipulate different weight loss tools and systems to achieve your results once you really get you know mentally vested in this thing and i'm mentally vested in this thing okay not just calories in and calories out <clears throat> try to, you know, create a space for myself where I'm not focused and pressed on weight loss. I want to be in a maintenance state and I just want to train because it's something I enjoy doing. I love lifting now. Like, you know, I'm not trying to become a professional bodybuilder, but I just love weights and lifting and I love what it does to the body when you do it over time not do it for just two weeks, you know, and stop. I used to do that, okay? I would, I made, when I did try to lift, I lift minorly and then, you know, drop the ball and didn't work out again for probably a week or two weeks and didn't get back into the consistency of waiting, weightlifting. So like, I don't see results. You have to be consistent to see results, especially with weightlifting. And I'm seeing them. So I'm addicted. Once you start seeing results, you become addicted, y'all. So that's one of my pointers here. If you have healthy ways to induce the weight loss experience on this GLP-1 medication, without yo-yoing off all crazy and being too experimental, do it. Because some of these weight loss mechanisms have been out here for a long time. People have been intermittent fasting for a long time. That's a great tool to incorporate. OMAD is a great tool if you know how to use it right and you know how to keep your um, your levels your levels appropriate so that you're not feeling super deprived and all that. And that's great on this medication because this medication is built to further enhance your natural GLP-1 hormone, which lacks and, you know, loses its signal strength apparently which is why this medicate GOP1 medications exist honestly to strengthen 
is a mimic of the hormone. So do what you got to do. I know I'm playing in this. I'm not trying to drag. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not trying to drag weight loss, weight recompositioning for years and years and years. I'm not trying to drag this along. And I do notice that this is a thing of just dragging the weight GLP one weight journey and weight loss on and on and on with seeing minimal results is a thing. I'm seeing that on on on, on a tumor. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I understand it's still great that you're having some loss, but I feel like people are really getting so super comfortable and super complacent and just being on a medication and just sharing how the medication is medicating that day. Is it suppressing this day or is it not suppressing? Um, how much did I lose this week versus last week? But what about what did you do within the lifestyle? You know, uh, I don't see a lot of that. Um, but people love and gravitate to videos. They just want to see an individual that's obese or overweight talking about the medication and posting a weight loss update hopefully seeing medi uh, um, weight drop not really getting in depth on how you know how are we doing this how are we adding to it is it only the medication i'm gonna tell you right now folks my update is coming up on may 8th okay um that'll be a full eight weeks on GOP one medication including Zetbound, before I switched to Terezbatide compound. Terezbatide compound, okay? Full eight weeks where I'm at. And I'm telling you, I put work in it. I probably would have half the weight loss that I have achieved, just half of it, if I did very minimum exercise or, you know, none. I just let the medication do its thing only. But because I really incorporated what's suggested and recommended for this medication in general, I maximize results. So I want to see more of that. I want to see more of people moving with it and not more so complaining about stalls, but how about resolutions on how to work with the stalls within the GLP-1 medication. This is why there are other weight loss hacks, techniques that you can incorporate to kind of help you get off those stalls. Oh man, let's take a meal away. You got you have a suppressant agent that allows you to take the meal away, okay? You'll be okay. If you don't consume, excuse me, 120 grams of protein a day, it's not the end all be all. To be honest with you, that is a lot of protein. I've, I've never been able to consume that much, even though I've tried. I've never been able to. It seems like I only could end up hitting the 80 mark, which is really sufficient. 70 to 80 grams of protein in a day for a woman. It really is proficient. You can sustain. You will live. You will retain muscle mass. With that, you will retain muscle mass. Okay. Are you also lifting weights? Are you weight training? Are you doing resistant training of any kind? You know, add to that. Then you even solid gold. I'm realizing that. Like, I'm not trying to get so stuck up into the mindset. Oh, you have to have 120 grams of protein. And if you do not get this protein in your body, your body is not going to form the way it needs to. You're not, you're going to have loose skin all over the place and all that. And in some situations that can be true, depending on what capacity your body is in. Where are you? Are you, are, are you partially semi-fit a little bit? Um, you know, do you already, are you mad or are you massively overweight? Do that, that weight loss is going to, is going to leave the loose skin. So, I mean, some of that is going to be just. Um, inevitable and it's going to just require cosmetic um, uh, cosmetic alteration later which is something that I was considering and it's kind of still in the background in my head I was entertaining Sonabello before GLP-1 low-key 
I was signed up for consultation and I canceled it. Um, so like just the skin reforming, the body rejuvenating and reconstructing is something that most of us are probably going to have to entertain anyway. If my, if I can't get my arms to get toned the way I need to get toned, it's, 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 it's going to be me entertaining an arm lift, which I already have. You know what I mean? So it's a level, it's like, it's levels to this weight loss journey. It's like, it's not just lose the weight. You see the phases I'm going through, or I've been through. The, the beginning was, yes, lose the weight, got the whole 115 pounds off. Bam. What happened as a result of that? I lost my behind. My butt went flat. I got loose skin. Happy that I'm smaller, but when I'm in my bikini or the certain type of garment I want to, you know, look a certain way in, I'm feeling, still feeling self-conscious. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling like I didn't lost the velocities in my chest. I'm like, how did I allow this to happen and how can I fix it? Okay. Weight training. So now I'm hard focused on chest exercises with my arms using weights. Push-ups every day. Non-negotiable. I'm doing all types of exercises. And you see the exercises, you guys, in the videos. I do that stuff every day. That stuff strengthens your chest muscles. Okay, so that you can kind of retain and or have the illusion of fuller chest. I know I'm always going to be a part of the small chess committee. I don't think I was ever built to have it. I think I, at the highest weight I was, I was a C cup. It's like a 40 C. You know, then I lost weight. Boom. I went to a B. I'm just, you know, I'm a B cup chick. And that's just what it is. I would love some fuller B cups. I'm not going to lie. Because when you do lose weight, you know, you start losing this. So we got to work. And try to counter so many different things when we're losing weight to get the body composition we're trying to achieve. So use the techniques you need to use, okay? If you're stalling, let's get the dose up. If your weight is not, if your weight, um, your weight loss is definitely not at the rate that you know that it could be, take a meal away. Do two minutes. Princess, do too mad. And if you're feeling real adventurous and you and you ready for that, after the two mad and you got your feet wet, you feel comfortable, do one mad. One meal a day. Fluids, fluids, fluids. Fluids, fluids, fluids. It works, y'all. I'm just saying. I just I want everybody's experience to be the most memorable and just a worthwhile experience not lagging i'm not saying rush the experience as we say slow and steady runs the race that's a lie slow and steady doesn't win the race slow and steady gets to the finish line which is still good so let's just make that real okay slow and steady gets to the finish line and that's all that matters you want to get to the finish line and maintain but sometimes getting to that like being slow and steady lagging to that finish line causes you to have setbacks you keep going backwards pushing yourself backwards so then you are steps away from the finish line so it takes you longer to get to the finish line so if you can be more consistent and, and, and try to help it along, and then it's okay to want to wanna work at a moderate pace so that you can move this along, get to your maintenance level and sustain, that's, that's the ultimate goal here. The ultimate goal is not to keep riding this medication all the way through without a maintenance plan. You gotta know how to maintain. You got to know how to maintain, guys. I'm just speaking from my experience. Do I want to stay on this medication regularly? Yes. Yes, I want, but I want to be on the maintenance plan. You know, I want to be at a maintenance dose, which is the dose that I'm about to take next week. 
I plan on that being a maintenance dose. I'm making it that maintenance dose. I don't plan on going much higher. I don't, it's not needed for me. For, from how I'm using this GLP-1 medication with the fasting and all that, I don't need to go beyond a 7.5 in my opinion. I mean, look, we don't know until we experience it, you know, but me titrating to seven, I think that would be where I need to just maintain. Um, I'm going to lose on it, but I also know how to maintain on that. As I'm getting closer and closer to my goal, guys, I will get y'all with that update soon. So you know what I'm talking about. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming up, yo. Um, but I'm so excited. But the no matter, you know, when I hit my goal, that doesn't mean stop. That doesn't mean that I'm no longer going to take the medication. It, it doesn't mean that I'm no longer going to be fit. I'm not going to incorporate these routine in my life every day like I do or every other day like I do I'm going to continue to weight train because just because I hit my weight goal my body may not look the way I want it to look but the weight scale is reading what it reads so then what that means is I need to be toning and recompositioning hard so that's not going to stop that's a journey in itself in which I'm trying to avoid cosmetic alteration as a very 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 last resort i'm trying so hard to avoid that so the phases with me guys i'm so happy to be here to share my phases in my life with you please feel free drop them down in the um my description drop them down in the comments on what you're going through what your little hacks and tacks are give me some tips i'm always open to new methods if it's going to help, you know, boost my metabolic rate and all that, like, let's get it. Let's get it on this medication. Let's take accountability. Let's stay focused. And let's not solely depend on the medication only. I'm going to get at y'all the next video. Be real, boo.